So in this video I'm going to talk about the, the dual and in order to understand what a dual is you need to understand what the unit of force is, the Newton. So if you've not already done so you should now watch the video on the Newton. Let's take a look at the dual and because it's named after a Mr. Dual it's capitalized, capital J. And you can think of the dual as work done. Or you can think of it as energy used to do something. And occasionally you'll see the word energy expended which will be the way we would talk about this in science. So you think of the dual as how much work is being done. We have a little definition and the definition of a dual is applying a force of one Newton through a distance of one meter. And so sometimes you'd see the formula or equation J joules equals newtons multiplied by meters. So how does this relate to heat? Well let's first of all take a look at a piece of copper and here we have the piece of copper with the, so this is copper, a metal, and the circles represent the copper atoms. Be careful with this, uh, this is just a convention that we draw atoms as a, as a circle. They're not actually this shape. So each one of these is an atom. And if you remember, temperature is measuring the kinetic energy, if you want the speed, of the motion of the atom. Now if we just take one atom and look closely at that and let's imagine that the mass of this atom is one kilogram. Now I need my assistant Frederica and we know that if Frederica pushes this one kilogram mass, this atom that we're imagining is a mass of one kilogram, if she pushes that with enough force to accelerate it by one meter per second squared, so if she pushes it with enough force to accelerate by one meter per second squared, we know that that equals 1 Newton. Now if we look at this we've got mass here, we've got acceleration and that is how we define uh, the Newton but there's still a question about how far this atom will be traveling. What is the distance? So here we have Frederica again with the one kilogram mass and so this is a kilogram and she's going to accelerate it by one meter per second squared for a distance of one meter.
Now, as you know, if she accelerates one kilogram by one meter per second squared, that's one newton. So we can see that one newton over a distance of one meter, and this is what we call a joule. Some examples of uh, what a joule is in real energy terms. If you lift an apple, for example, quickly through one meter, that's about one joule. So that's a quick look at joule, which is the unit for specific heat capacity.